happens in your body when you have a common cold. Let's take a look inside and see how this virus unfolds. Germs mostly cause the common cold when humans touch a dirty surface, or so I am told. Once a virus enters the body, it attaches and attacks cells lining the airways where you breathe. That's a fact. The virus enters things called cells and makes more virus that Fights off a lot of disease 
It detects when you're sick, then makes you feel healthy. The digestive system takes all the food that you eat, then extracts the vitamins and nutrients that you need. Your skeletal system is made up of bones, held together by connective tissue so they don't roam. The muscular system has three types you see. Skeletal, smooth, and cardiac make up the three. Come take a journey with me inside the human body. Who knows what we'll learn of our anatomy? Here's a quick look about the systems we'll see. In our voyage, we will learn about biology. Go to the new KLT Anatomy channel. Click the link in the description below. What's that taste? Well, let your tongue, a muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. Your tongue is covered in a pink tissue called mucosa. Its main job is to protect deeper tissue when you gnaw. The rough parts of your tongue are called the lingual papillae. They are the small bumps that store taste buds so you enjoy food all day. There are four different types of your tongue's papillae. They're named the filiform, foliate, fungiform, and circumvallate. The frenum is the tether of the front bottom of tongues. It holds your tongue in place so your mouth can move freely while it runs. The back of your tongue is anchored by the hyoid bone. The tongue is vital for many things I will show. What's that taste? Well, let your tongue, a muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. The muscles in your tongue are a few we will discuss. The stylo, hyo, and genio all end in glossus. Then the genio and stylo hyoideus Learning these muscles of your tongue Yeah, it is a must Your tongue's main job's to help you chew and swallow all your food It also helps you speak all words to express your present mood The common amount of taste that your tongue can recognize Are the four, I will tell you it may come as a surprise Sweet, sour, bitter, and salty are the four But sometimes you taste a fifth called you might Mommy, I adore. What's that taste? Well, let your tongue, a muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. When you bite into your food, the chemicals from foods release and sinks into the taste papilla to the taste buds that run deep. Sensory cells transform chemicals into nerve signals that are sent into the brain through the nerve fibers they do go. When the signals reach your brain, that information is passed through your cranial nerves to the brain stem really fast. Your medulla oblongata takes all those signals and sends them to the limbic and cortical systems you should know. Perception and emotion are then formed for what you ate, then mixed with smells and texture, which create the this thing called taste. What's that taste? Well, let your tongue, a muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. We're your teeth, we're your teeth, your digestive system star. We hope you listen well and you learn just who we are. When you're a newborn, maybe you may have natal teeth. This only occurs in one in two to three thousand babies. A child's mouth has two rows of teeth on the bottom and the top. But you only see twenty before the adult teeth make the swap. You'll have to Just a 
system star. We hope you listen well and you learn just who we are. You only have four different types of teeth in your whole mouth. Here's your names from front to back and from north down to the south. Incisors are like scissors cause they cut your food in half. They're in front of your mouth. You see all eight when you laugh. Then we see your canines. There are only four you know. Two are at the top and two more are in the jaw down System star. We hope you listen well and you learn just who we are. The anatomy of your teeth shown in this here photograph. First we'll look at the crown, the tooth's visible top half. Enamel is the outer part of all the teeth in your mouth. It's the hardest part of your body, but if not brushed it'll rot out. Here you see the dent and below the enamel closure. It's the hard dense bony tissue that protects your pulp chamber. twice a day. We're your teeth, we're your teeth, your digestive system star. We hope you listen well and you learn just who we are. We're your teeth, we're your teeth, your digestive system star. We hope you listen well and you learn just who we are. Go to the new KLT Anatomy channel. Click the link in the description below. Esophagus. I am your esophagus. Esophagus. Attach to the back of your trachea. Esophagus. Digestive systems, muscular too. Esophagus. I bring your food down to the stomach and you. I live in front of your spinal column. I'm right beyond the trachea and hop that pumps. I connect the throat to the stomach and you. Before I reach your stomach, your diaphragm, I pass through. My outer muscles are what help me to push through. These muscles contract in wave motions to help me push it through. This wave motion is called peristalsis. Now let's take a look at the muscles that help me do this. The inner to the outer walls of your esophagus are made of four layers of tissue that create peristalsis. The longitudinal muscle sits on my outside, while the circular muscle sits in the middle inside. The inner circular muscle wraps around the esophagus, it contracts by squeezing together just like a closed fist. It squeezes simultaneously with the longitudinal muscle, which runs up and down the esophagus, this long hollow tunnel, lining the hollow center of the esophagus. Peristalsis is finished near your stomach stuff Where your lower esophagus 
new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. I am a myocyte, your muscles are made up of me. Here's some of the 650 muscles in the human body. We'll start with the deltoids that sit on the shoulders of your arms. There are three parts to your deltoid that I'll teach you with some charm. The interior fibers are on the front side of you, while the lateral fibers sit on the top of the shoulders, that's two. The third part's called posterior that sits on your Sticky mucus layer in the lumen in 
matricule cartilage you see there's about 20 of these rings that are separate on me the reason they are separate and not joined as one is so your trachea can flex till your breathing is done then we move to the space between the cartilage here it's your annular ligaments that do appear these ligaments are connective tissue holding the trachea together yes inside you inside the trachea is lined with a smooth tissue it's called the mucosa and this fact is very true then the lumen is next the hollow channel airway lined with hair like projections called cilia that sway the cilia trap the particles we discussed the lumen walls create mucus through cells and ducts i am your trachea i'm about four to five inches long an important part of you so you'll learn in this song i am your trachea i'm about four to five inches long an important part of you so you'll learn in this song shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters What happens in your body when you have a common cold? Let's take a look inside and see how this virus unfolds. Germs mostly cause the common cold when humans touch a dirty surface, or so I am told. Once a virus enters the body, it attaches and attacks cells lining the airways where you breathe. That's a fact. The virus enters things called cells and makes more virus that
shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. Come take a journey with me inside the human body. Who knows what we'll learn of our anatomy. Here's a quick look about the systems we'll see. In our voyage we will learn about biology. I'm a cell, your body's made up of me. There's more than 200 different types of cells in the human body. Atoms and molecules are what created me. Then I made all of the systems you're about to hear and see. There's the nervous system, it has an important job too. It sends signals from and to the brain for all that you do. The circulatory system is where all your blood flows. It carries oxygen and nutrients to where it should go. The respiratory system is what you use to breathe. It carries oxygen to all the cells that your body needs. Come take a journey with me inside the human body. Who knows what we'll learn of our anatomy. Here's a quick look about the systems we'll see. In our voyage we will learn about biology. Your immune system fights off a lot of disease. It detects when you're sick, then makes you feel healthy. The digestive system takes all the food that you eat, then extracts the vitamins and nutrients that you need. Your skeletal system is made up of bones, held together by connective tissue so they don't roam. The muscular system has three types you see Skeletal, smooth, and cardiac make up the three Come take a journey with me inside the human body Who knows what we'll learn of our anatomy Here's a quick look about the systems we'll see In our voyage we will learn about biology Go to the new KLT Anatomy channel Click the link in the description below. What's that taste? Well, let your tongue. A muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. Your tongue is covered in a pink tissue called mucosa. Its main job is to protect deeper tissue when you gnaw. The rough parts of your tongue are called the lingual papillae. They are the small bumps that store taste buds so you enjoy food all day. There are four different types of your tongue's papillae. They're named the filiform, foliate, fungiform, and circumvallate. The frenum is the tether of the front bottom of tongues. It holds your tongue in place so your mouth can move freely while it runs. The back of your tongue is anchored by the hyoid bone. The tongue is vital for many things. I will show what's that taste will let your tongue a muscular organ in everyone I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps I always work hard to get my job done the muscles in your tongue are a few we will discuss the stylo hyo and genio all end in glossus then the genio and stylo hyoideus Learning these muscles of your tongue Yeah, it is a must Your tongue's main job's to help you chew and swallow all your food It also helps you speak all words to express your present mood The common amount of taste that your tongue can recognize Are the four, I will tell you it may come as a surprise Sweet, sour, bitter, and salty are the four but sometimes you taste a fifth called you mommy I adore What's that taste? Well let your tongue A muscular organ in everyone I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps I always work hard to get my job done When you bite into your food The chemicals from foods release And sinks into the taste papilla To the taste buds that run deep Sensory cells transform chemicals into nerve signals that are sent into the brain through the nerve fibers they do go When the signals reach your brain that information
Information is passed through your cranial nerves to the brainstem really fast. The medulla oblongata takes all those signals and sends them to the limbic and cortical systems. You should know. Perception and emotion are then formed for what you ate, then mixed with smells and texture, which create this thing called taste. What's that taste? Well, it's your tongue, a muscular organ in everyone. I'm kind of rough with lots of bumps. I always work hard to get my job done. Shop our new store merch and get custom birthday videos with your favorite characters. We're your teeth, we're your teeth, your digestive system star. We hope you listen well and you learn just who we are. When you're a newborn, maybe you may have natal teeth. This only occurs in one in two to three thousand babies. A child's mouth has two rows of teeth on the bottom and the top. But you only see twenty before the adult teeth make the swap. You'll have thirty. Squeeze it simultaneously 
hustle Which runs up and down these up and gets this long hollow tunnel Lining the hall of sand to wrap the esophagus I love mucosa and some mucosa, this is where they sit This is true, my friend. 